So, Akugan Generation 3, the new show, has officially launched on Netflix. Well, at least for me, because I... Apparently it's been there for a while, but I literally just saw it But I did try to search for it a long ass time ago and it never popped up But I finally watched the first episode and I want to explain to you guys my thoughts on just the first episode I'm gonna do the whole season review so definitely look out for that But I thought I'd give you guys my input on like the first episode and what I think of the, these new characters and the new designs <laughs> But yeah, welcome to a brand new review for you guys Let's head straight into it because I know you guys already see the title Let's just head straight into it but before I do, I always do that. I'm trying to reach 500 subscribers before the end of the year. So if you guys are new and haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel because I'm trying to get to the goal of 500 subscribers before the end of the year. We are less than 100 days until the next year. So it will be cool and amazing if you guys can subscribe and also hit that like button let's get straight into it so first off i want to actually kind of talk about like the backstory honestly of the bakugan in this show i think it's actually a pretty uh creative thing honestly i think personally for me i think the i mean nothing beats the og for me but i think this is better than the second generation bakugan i think my only concern about um the whole backstory is that we only get to see them in ball form literally once they land maybe it's because like this is like the first episode you know by the time i do the uh, ending of the first season and everything i'll probably like get a better idea if we're gonna see more of the ball form you know i just kind of like it, w it felt weird just kind of seeing the Bakugans just not being in ball form, if that makes sense, in the show. And I kind of want to see more of that. So, like, seeing that in the first episode was kind of just weird for me, personally. I think I find it a little weird that Nilius is the one that kind of started the whole war, if that makes sense. I feel like there's a little bit of a catch to that, but it's just kind of weird in a way. I don't know. Like, again, it's just the first episode, so I can't really complain about any too much stuff yet but uh i, I kind of like the design they're kind of iffy i'm not gonna lie just because like they're like the same height as the humans maybe i'm just so used to the bakugan being like three times larger than average human especially since they're kids but i like that little twist at the end of the episode where they kind of figure out that like oh the bakugan turned actually huger if that's uh that's not a word i like that twist in the end where they kind of show that the Bakugan can actually get you uh bigger and that is helped because of the connection with the human if that makes sense i don't know if it's a new voice actor but i generally do not like drago's voice i think it sounds way too raspy like i want you to sound a little bit more like like i understand you're a Bakugan you're from a different universe different planet or some shit different galaxy you know but i want you to not sound raspy i don't know that's just me personally um he, he just sounds a little like too like <laughs> why haven't you subscribe damn it the thing that i like about like this gen honestly is that they're adapting to like this kind of story of like them stopping bakugan brawling if that makes sense and the kids have to like kind of uh let the adults know that this is not bad that they're not brawling if that makes sense just because of that one accident that happened in the first episode so it, i feel like it's kind of a cool like adaptation because we never really see that type of story you know it's always that in the first gen it's about like oh these like the adults are kind of iffy about it but like they understand that um at the end of the first season they kind of understand that like this is what the kids enjoy doing they never like had that um whole like oh we're gonna stop the bakugan brawling if that makes sense i mean there's villains that want to do extinct the bakugan I was one of them, unfortunately. But it was never, like, about the adults, if that makes sense. Like, trying to quit it, if that makes sense. So they try to make it a little bit more, like, relatable to, like, nowadays, if that makes sense. And I think the story is actually pretty, like, pretty fresh and new, in my personal opinion. I want to know how the season goes from here on out. But anywho, that is my review on the first episode of the Bakugan Generation 3 show. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think of the first episode or just the whole show in general, to be honest. If you guys already watched the whole thing, comment down below your thoughts because I, I generally want to know and I want to start like a little conversation in this video. So definitely comment down below. If you guys did enjoy that video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for new peace. I hope you guys do enjoy your day, make every day nice today. Everyone stay positive, be positive. You guys already know to have a positive mindset. Peace.